Well, here we've got one of our many non-native invasives. This one's Himalayan balsam. Um, it's quite a shallow rooted plant and the stems are completely hollow. Flowers are really, really quite attractive and you can see why they would have been bought over. The bees love it as well. There's quite a lot of them heading in and out of the flowers here. Um, the problem is when they go to seed, not sure if you can see, but this is like a capsule. It has a number of sides. And when they're ripe, they curl up and explode, spreading about two meters either side of the plant, um, which obviously allows them to spread really easily along waterways and, and streams and, and colonize areas. And as you can see here, they really are wiping out the, the rest of the native vegetation. Um, so they're kind of smothering the ground and they'll just continue to, to grow uh, fresh seeds. Um, you can actually eat the seeds, although they're not that easy to remove without them exploding. So I don't think this is going to be much of a solution for um, managing this invasive non-native. But again, it's great for volunteers to remove them because they're so shallow rooted. They're really easy to identify and you can just pull them straight out. Um, a kind of maybe a wider question is how much benefit they bring um, um, bees and insects. You know, because you might find if we take a different view on it, that and we can keep them in check with management maybe removing them just before they've gone from flowers into seeds you might find that that approach might help reduce the spread of them um, and allow that nectar and pollen source to uh, to remain for for bees